Head to Long Island, T.C. McCarthy here at Republic Airport in Farmingdale, where I'm greeting a new type of passenger. Meet Bosley. Bosley is an eight-year-old, 49-pound mini potbelly pig, and he just made his first trip to New York on Pet Airways, the first pig ever to fly on Pet Airways. He's been adopted by a family out in the Hamptons. We have with us today, Elisa Binder. Elisa is one of the co-founders of Pet Airways. Tell me, why was this trip significant? We're really excited Pet Airways, where pets fly in the main cabin and not in cargo. And today is our first day that we're taking a pig, so now pigs can fly, or we said, Bosley's our first hoofinger. <laughs> so now tell me a little bit about how Pet Airways got started. Pet Airways got started when um, Dan Wenzel, my husband, and I uh, relocated from the San Francisco Bay Area to Florida. We had a Jack Russell Terrier named Zoe, and she was just a little too big to fit in the main cabin of the plane, so she was relegated to cargo. It was quite stressful for us, and with a lot of trepidation we did that. When we got to the other side, she just wasn't the same. So we said, this just can't be. So we did a lot of research and found out there wasn't a better way. So Dan said, let's build Petty Airways, and I said, I'm in. All right, very cool. So now, Bosley's got an interesting story himself. Um, and if you check into Newsday.com tomorrow, you'll be able to hear exactly how it is he came to be in New York and everything it took to get him here.